All right, let's learn something called expanded column subtraction. And before we start, the word expand, if you don't know, means to make something bigger. Um, and let's look at how most people subtract first when they have two or three digit numbers. So most people are just going to quickly go like this and boom, done really fast and quick. But for young learners, especially if you're in elementary school, second or third grade, there's a problem with this. And the problem is that you might not really understand what is happening here. What does this even mean? And I know it's quick. And I know it doesn't take up much space. But we really want to make sure you understand what's happening with this type of subtraction problem. So we're going to do expanded column subtraction. So let's take a look at the same problem and do expanded column subtraction. So here we have the same uh, subtraction problem, 72 minus 45. But I'm going to expand these numbers into their columns by place value. So I will start by breaking 72 into 70, there's one column, and 2, that's another column. In 45, I will break apart into 40, and 5. And this is again showing our understanding of place value as we do the subtraction. And I'll still put my subtraction sign here in a line, and now we're going to trade some numbers because you can see here we can't subtract 5 from 2. So I'm going to trade one of these 10s and move it to the 1s. So 70 becomes 60 and 2 becomes 12. And you could also write the 1 here like some people do. But just to really show my understanding of what happened, I'm going to write it like this. And now we can subtract down this way. And 12 minus 5 is going to give me 7. There we go. And 60 minus 40 will give me 20. And now these numbers I add together because I have my 10s place in one column and my 1s place in the other column. So the answer here is going to be 27. Let me write that. There we go. And you can see if you compare this to this, it really shows your understanding a lot more. So as we're learning about place value and numbers, this is a good way to get started. You don't have to do this always, but it's a good way to show your understanding. And let's try another one. Uh, I need to write it smaller so I have space. And this is three digits now. So because we have three digits, we now need three columns for this expanded column subtraction. And we can start with the hundreds place. So 500 minus 200 is in our first column. And then next we'll do the tens place. And you can see there we have 40 and 60. And finally we'll do the ones place. And now we are going to... Um, do our subtraction, but before we do this, we're going to do all of our trading first. We're going to trade first, and we are going to make sure we have enough to subtract in each of these columns. Now, here, we cannot take away 8 from 1, so we need to borrow or trade some of these 10s over to the 1s. So we'll take uh, 10 away, and this becomes 11. We're good there. But now we have the same thing. We can't take away 60 from 30. So the 500 becomes 400. And now we can add that 100 over here. I'll just put it in front. So now we're ready to go. And 11 minus 8 is going to give me 3. And 130 minus 60 would be 70. And 400 minus 200 is 200. 
And now I have my hundreds place and my tens place and my ones place and I can just put them together for the answer. And again, you can see the thinking here very clearly. And thanks again for watching. Um, down below here, I'll put some links to maybe some other methods of subtraction, like counting up subtraction, or a similar one called partial differences. But um, just check the links here if you want to see other math videos. Thank you.